We understand that the great economic revolutions occur when communication and energy revolutions come together. Hydraulic agriculture, writing, first industrial revolution, print technology, coal, steam, and rail, 20th century electrification, the telephone coming together with the oil internal combustion engine. The reason I say this, I think it's important for the business community to realize we are on the cusp of a new convergence of communication and energy, a third industrial revolution, that if we do everything exactly right, may get us through the door to a new economic era uh, in time to avoid the abyss of climate change and the sunset of the uh, current energy era. So what we're talking about here in the EU, where we've laid out a third industrial revolution plan as the official plan for the EU, is we're going to renewable energies in the EU, done deal. We're going to convert all of our buildings across the EU, every home, office, and factory, so they produce their own power, their little power plants, solar roofs, wind, geothermal. We're going to put hydrogen storage in so we can store all that intermittent renewable energy. And then we're going to bring together that communication energy revolution. We're going to take the power grid of Europe and the rest of the world and make it into an intergrid that acts like the internet. So that when millions of us are producing just a little bit of our own power with renewable energies surrounding our buildings, we store it with hydrogen, like we store digital and media. Then with these smart grids, we share that energy across whole continents, just like with the internet, we share our information across the world. You know, it's interesting, President Obama has the heart in the right place, but he doesn't have the story. And here's a gentleman that was elected on the internet, but hasn't yet understood the potential of this third industrial revolution to create distributed capitalism. Right now, the, the White House plan is to, to build centralized solar and wind parks in the western part of the U.S., smarten the grid, and then send it east. Well, that's 20th century business thinking, old centralized models. If all the energies we're talking about are distributed, the sun, the wind, the heat under the ground, and they're found everywhere, why would we only collect them in a few points? So he needs the story of a third industrial revolution to say, look, we want to collect this energy everywhere in our buildings, jumpstart an economy, and so our children who now grow up with the idea they share their own information in collaborative ways, their children should grow up with the idea they can share their own en energy in collaborative ways. And if there was ever a president that should be poised toward uh, the plan we have in Europe, I think President Obama is the president. I think he needs to move just that one step to make the big leap.